Hey guys, in this video, I am going to be reviewing the Ada Imaging UHD 100. Hey guys, AJ here with another video and if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews and bills on those things that can help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So the long awaited package that I've been waiting for um, because of delivery nonsense delivery issues finally happened. So I got this, this is for um, the last camera to be installed for Good Shepherd, uh, the project I've been working on for quite a while. This is the last camera to do, and then um, the guys are supposed to be finishing the, uh, the painting tomorrow. Um, but this is one of those things that I kind of recommended, and I guess maybe this is something that I learned over studying and growing and everything like that with on um, doing research on YouTube on how to change and enhance my media ministry. All right, so let's see what's inside of here. Not too much, but we have the little thank you flyer card here, the USB cable for I would believe for firmware updates, a power block. International adapters here, which I won't be using. A little silica that I'm not going to be using. What is this? Okay, it's a cap for where the lens will go and a super tiny Allen wrench. The breakout dongle with the little tilt kind of controls there for the menu. Power goes in right there. This connection goes into the back of the camera. And then we have the camera itself. Have a little quarter inch mount, I believe. And here's the mount that I'm actually gonna put it on. So hopefully that will fit. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, and it does fit. So, and again, I'm using this as a stationary static wide shot um, for Good Shepherd. So when they're moving the other cameras, this is going to be the wide shot. Now, the best thing about this, this is actually a 4K camera, which we're really not going to use, but um, because we're actually doing this in 1080p at 5994. Um, but the quality should be super good and since this is HDMI I did it on my previous video where we're actually gonna connect this to a HDMI adapter and actually I don't think I did that video so let me go ahead and splice that video into this but what we're gonna do is HDMI out and then we're gonna go to a Blackmagic micro HDMI to SDI converter then that SDI converter is what's going to be going into our main system. So now that this is actually here, I'll be able to finish this install. But what I'm going to do is with my ATEM, I'm going to hook this up into this and see what it looks like. Because I have the same, the exact same setup that's going to be running there at the church with my um, HDMI to SDI converter. But I can hook this up directly to HDMI, so I can do either one. But I'm gonna hook it up the exact same way. So let's go ahead. Oh, excuse the sock. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So I actually have this hooked up. Excuse my mess. I actually have this hooked up to my 4K TV, but it's only doing in 1080 at 30. So let's go ahead and bring up the menu here. Let's set this up picture looks really good all right let's see what this looks like so I put it in 4k oh wow 
That looks really, really good. So, oh, sweet. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and set it to the option of what actually is going to be at the church. You gonna be? You gonna be in here with me? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, hold on. Daddy's testing out a video here. Can I do a video? Yep. All right. Come over here. Come over here. I don't want to sit in here. No, no. I'm so you can see your scene. All right. So we're here now. We got it set to. <laughs> 1080-59, which is what the setup is going to be. So let's look else what's on here. Okay, we got info here. What else? Communication. Communication. That's, yeah, that's the ID. So if we were going to control this, so I would assume this could be connected to the remote. So let's go ahead and just change it to three just in case. So when we hook it up, even though I'm not connecting this to um, the controls for the remote but we'll just put it here anyway we're under special we have zoom all that stuff we're not really gonna have on but I'm gonna put on backlight here and a lot of this I'm probably gonna change once we have this installed in the church all right image control um, so we can do all of this stuff here let's see what okay that's night vision that's day auto. I think all of this is fine. I think that's fine. So I think, mm -mm, baby. So I think this is pretty good, and I'm liking what the picture looks like so far. So let's go ahead and return out of here and exit. Back again here at my Good Shepherd project, and pretty much I have a stationary camera that I need to install, but. Um, I changed the brand so originally the camera had a SDI connection so I'm here to rewire it and put a not rewire it but to put a different um, converter keystone on here so the camera actually is HDMI out but our entire system is wired for SDI so I have a black magic HDMI to SDI converter that I'm going to put up here so the camera is going to be connecting to HDMI instead so I need to put that keystone up here and then inside the wall is where I'm going to put the converter which is going to connect to SDI now the camera isn't here yet it's not going to be here tomorrow till tomorrow so that's why I got my Sony AX55 to connect to make sure I get a signal and everything because it will simulate the camera I got is actually a 4K camera, um, but I'm going to downgrade it down to 1080p 5994 to match everything. But this is just a good test to make sure everything is working. Alright, so originally, like I said, I had everything marked here with the projector in the future and the static cam. So I'm going to replace this. All of this is going to go inside the wall, and then instead I'm going to have an HDMI keystone here coupler and the HDMI is going to be on the other side connecting to the adapter which connects directly to the cable there so I actually can move this cable for the projector all right so the idea was when we designed this is to have everything as simple as possible so when we installed this originally we were going to install a projector but they decided to hold off and do that in like in a phase two along as well as um, projector screens so when wiring everything I had to make sure that it was as easy as possible so that when they come back to do the projector it wouldn't be anything major that needs to be done so that's why we wired everything already and labeled it so that they literally just have to mount this power is already available cable is already available jack is already available and everything is already configured in the system to output that and that's what the tedious part of walking around after we ran everything like the little box down there made sure that all of these act as output so I hooked up a monitor to this to make sure so let's go ahead and clean up some stuff like I have the little caps here to go cover up the screw holes but let's pull this down so we can put the new keystone in place <laughs> All right, so as you can see, here's the SDI cable that's routed back to the static camera. So we're gonna hook up the HDMI to SDI converter 
back behind here, set it on a, one of the secure blocks back here so that it doesn't fall, run some power, and then change out this keystone, which the label is still going to be the same. But we have it here just in case if we ever decide to add another camera. All right, so like I said, this is the same type of HDMI to SDI converter that we're going to use. And we'll just hook this up, and then here's the HDMI keystone that we're going to put in place for easy connection for the camera. All right, real simple and straightforward. Now I'll just hook up this in the back of here and then run an additional HDMI cable to there. And I just realized that when I hooked this up, I did not bring the appropriate cable for my camera to hook it up. So I'm gonna have to get something else to test this out. Now the best thing about these adapters is that they just run off of a basic cell phone type of micro USB and plug. So I have a bunch of these um, old iPad little adapters that I'm just going to place here on the surge protector in here. And then this is what's going to power everything. So right there. So everything that's on the system that's right here, the cameras, is on a delayed switch that goes through the whole system. So I don't have to worry about power staying on because all of this, this gets shut off once uh, the main system where the ATEM and everything is shut off. And remember the camera back there. Remember we have another video where that's on a smart plug so that actually turns off itself as well. So there's no issue with the system staying on. All right, as you can see, this is a tight fit for me and with the camera. But as you can see, this is the other side of where everything is coming through. Here, it's there, and then there's our multi-strip. So, just gonna go ahead and plug all this stuff up. All right, everything is hooked up. And I had to realize I need to leave enough space here in the surge protector so that the camera is actually power plug is actually going to extend this way so I need to put it here and then that gives enough space for the projector which I'm assuming is like a traditional um, computer plug um, Mullock's adapter or whatever they're called all right so let's go ahead and clean this up haha -ha, yes I'm happy I actually have the extra adapter I had in my camera bag so I will be able to test this out now so yay all right, I got my camera set up, so now let's go upstairs and make sure that the routing through the video smart hub is correct and the camera should show up. All right, so the cable is not right, so I need to go through here through the software and try and reconfigure it because the other camera is supposed to be showing up right there. All right, so I kind of jumped the gun and found out everything was actually working. Um, the problem is my 4K camera was set to 4K. That's why image wasn't showing up. So I had to, after jumping around, changing cables and all this other stuff, then it was like, did you check the resolution? I made that change and now you can see that I have a static shot and that's pulling from my camera. It's down there on top of the ladder. Alrighty. All done. So this is about the center. So I'm gonna mount the new camera about here or maybe like right here. But either way, it's gonna be, actually this is more center. So let me go ahead and mark that right there. So this is gonna be the goal for tomorrow or most likely Thursday. And then all the cameras in here will be all done. All right, so the first thing, like I said, we already got our power block that we're gonna run here. And all of this is gonna be hidden inside here. Let's go ahead and connect this 
and run the wires and everything else is already set up so all we have to do is mount the mount here on the wall and that's it I'm gonna come up here and get some zip ties to clean all this up so these are all the cables with some extra and there's the mount running through everything is plugged in and there's the HDMI to SDI adapter that's going through the HDMI keystone right there all right so there's the cable hanging out there and now we just got a center where we're at which is going to be probably right above this camera if not in between and then that's where I'm going to mount this all right got everything there and we got the mount there and it actually comes with an additional extension so I'm probably going to add the extension on here at the end and I think I got enough cable um, HDMI cable to be able to reach that distance all right everything is hooked up I'm gonna zip tie that down now I got to do is just power everything on and then make some final adjustments to the shot and we're looking good it automatically came up so I might want to pan it over just a little bit and this might be one of those times where we might change the lens but I think that's good from for a shot now might want to do a little tweaking just to match the color but I think for the most part we're good there's our static shot and preview and here is the other Ada imaging PTZ camera so I want to just kind of match the colors and I'll tweak that but I think this is a good success we ran all the cables that know how we identified everything in the smart switch down here I mean the smart video hub down here was laid out properly so we didn't have to reinvent the wheel so everything is in place the um, pulpit iPad is off right now so that's why this image is not showing up and the worship extreme computer that's behind me is not turned on but this would have shown up but let's go ahead and turn that on just to make sure everything is good all right we got everything running we got our back PTZ our front we have our static shot iPad is still off because I didn't bring my iPad with me to hook it up um, that's the two outputs from the hyperdeck that's the choir which is the stage display from worship extreme which is currently not configured um, since they're using the free account free version of um, worship extreme here's worship extreme pushing out just a scripture that I think they had from last Sunday and that's everything so really happy with how this turned out um, just confirming that the remotes and everything are moving like they're supposed to and let's see let's see how good of an image we can get in here we're getting our image from here which is good too and let's bring up our back camera I mean excuse me our front camera let's switch that over all right so let's see if we can again this is an Ada imaging camera as well too which I'm really happy with the quality and the performance of this camera. Let's see if I can zoom in and see me. Zoom out a little bit. So this is pretty good. So like I said, I am really happy with how this has turned out and I know they're ecstatic about how they've been using it. Now, as I look at it right now, I probably could have moved that camera a little bit lower, but I wanted to be out of the line of sight with the PTZ. Um, but, I mean, it's fine. Because, again, it's not like anybody's going to be up here on the wall looking at anything. So, let me go ahead and seal up everything and turn everything off. And I would consider, outside of the painting that they're doing right now, this project is 95% done. I know I've been coming up with percentages, but I mean, it's been a long time coming, but again, we're wrapping it up. So the only thing after all of this is mainly just training. All right, guys, so um, I hope y'all like this. I was pretty much just walking through just little sections of what I'm doing here in this 
um, church installed that really didn't have anything here. And we're going from an entirely Wi-Fi network rehaul, um, overhaul that was done here, as well as installing two PTZ cameras, a stationary camera, Worship Extreme, um, presentation software, uh, a full Blackmagic ATEM video distribution throughout the entire church, as well as live streaming. So it's the whole kit and caboodle. So I will be doing a full tour once everything is painted and the training is done. But I hope y'all like this. If you do, I would really appreciate a like. Make sure you consider subscribing to this channel and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss out on any new videos. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.